Ladies and gentlemen, fishy friends, welcome back to Mega Aquarium. That's right, freshwater frenzy time is indeed just around the corner. We're going to start exploring all of the new DLC content, I hope, over the course of this episode. Anyway, uh, in the last episode, we firmly established our aquarium as the most amazing place to go if indeed you're interested in looking at some pretty fantastic fish. Uh, we've also got a couple of eels which are, you know, chilling out rather comfortably over in tank number 10 over here. As of yet, they haven't grown to the super large size that I know they're going to grow to, but uh, but that's okay. We can worry about that as and when it happens. Uh, right. So, what else do we need to what else do we need to get down today? I mean, we still need to get a couple of other fish, I believe. I mean, the red tail butterfly fish. We got a couple of them. Uh, we got three yellow tanks. We got one singular coral grouper. Black soldier fish. We got four of those. Oblique lined dotty back. Ain't got none of those. And same with the royal grama as well. We don't have any of those at all. Dislikes congeners cannot be housed with dotty backs, grammas, and antheas. Okay, so that's a bit of a that's a bit of an issue because I was anticipating, or at least planning potentially to put these put these two fish together, but that's fine. Uh, bully will pester wimps. Okay, so I think that we can just have a tank filled with these oblique lined dotty backs, like a solo tank. That would be pretty darn cool to do, right? Uh, ah, the eels have all grown and we've got an email about it. Cool. All right, so that fills the tank up to 27 out of 30, uh, which also... I was a way to say puts the puts the level of water quality down a little bit, but that looks like that's been caused by the lack of uh, the lack of fixing the filters here. Uh, now, just thinking out loud for a second here, am I able to put am I able to put the oblique lined dotty back into that eel uh, that eel thing about that eel tank? I think I could, you know. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. So it, it does take the water filter quality down just a little bit, but the other requirements were actually totally fine. Oh, brilliant. The panther grouper is done. Excellent. Uh, is this going to really fit into our existing infrastructure? I don't think so. Oh, also, thank you very much to everyone who left comments uh, under the last video. Very much appreciated. What do I want to get? A guppy? Uh, or a fox face rabbit fish? Give me a fox face rabbit fish, sure. Uh, anyway, yes, so some of the comments included suggestions uh, to get the deeper tanks. Deeper tanks will allow us to store more fish, which is undoubtedly a necessity. We want to try and store as many fish as we possibly can in our aquarium, and therefore getting deeper tanks seems like a no-brainer, if you ask me. Uh, we also may be nearing the point at which we need to acquire some more staff. That does seem like somewhat of an inevitability, but that's okay. I think what we should do is we should just finish off this scientific research. We'll get the, uh, whatever the research is that we're doing at the moment. I think this is the lagoon tank that we're currently working on. So we'll get that. Yeah, the lagoon tank. Yeah, so we'll get that done, and then we will start working a massive new project, I think. Uh, also, any joy with the water levels in here. No, I don't think so. I think we're going to need to throw down one additional basic filter just to make sure that everything everything remains at uh, an appropriately high level. Cool. Excellent. The lagoon tank and there is now a huge increase in capacity, which is great. Let's get the power combi, which does heat and also filter stuff. So that's great. Let's do that all like so. What did I want? The lagoon tank. Yes. So, how big can this thing actually go? It can it can it can be very very large in fact. I do I do in fact like that. There are no sponges left in the aquarium. What? A sponge sink. Okay. Uh fine. Stick that down there if that's required. If we need a sponge sink, we can get a sponge sink. Any other tool stations that we need to get? No, not really. I will get one final tool station just for just for the sake of accessibility over at this side, because it always seems like we need to we need to find something. Why did you why did why did you get sad at that tank? Toby, you got sad at that tank. I saw you. We all saw you. We all saw it happen. Uh, okay, enough chatting. Let's let's see if we can try and expand the floor a little bit. So let's do that. It's a massive, massive expansion. In fact, the largest of any expansion that we have thus far undertaken. Quite cool. If I do indeed say so myself, let's stick 
these vending machines down. In fact, you know what? The vending machines can stay over in this area. Because, you know, we've got like a public seating area, which is kind of cool. So that's fine. Now, let's see if we can get this lagoon tank down, shall we? It's got a depth of two, which is great. And it will allow us to place some additional objects in it as well, which is very, very nice. That's the largest size that we can get it. I don't know how much that's going to require in terms of monetary contribution. However, it's more than we've currently got, which is a bit of a bummer. But no matter. We can fast forward time and we can, we can get across the line, which would be really, really great. I'm kind of anticipating that... Uh, oh... Excellent. I'm kind of anticipating... Ooh, rank four. Nice. Protein skimmer? What the heck's a protein skimmer? Helps achieve higher water quality. Or a large filter, just a more powerful filter. That would be kind of good. Or a deep wall tank. A deep wall tank does seem like a pretty darn good thing to do. However, I'm going to start with the protein skimmer because I just have a feeling that that's going to come in handy at some point. But, uh, but I guess we'll see. Okay, a fox face rabbit fish. Let's just continue to... Let's just continue continue to unlock fish sequentially. Doesn't seem any reason not to. Brilliant. An employee has leveled up. That's exactly what I like to see. And I'm back up to decent amounts of money as well, which is very cool. All right. That was 770 bucks in order to get that. So that's kind of nice. Let me stick this down over here. Excellent. So that that's in a suitably central location. Uh, now, how many fish am I actually able to fit in this in this tank? 88 fish points. That's that's real good. But we need to be very, very careful about what we end up putting in the tank. So a panther grouper can can eat fish, can eat fish between wow, a size of one and five. So that's kind of terrifying. Animals within with a between size 1 and 5 and crustaceans between a size 1 and 5 which is which is a problem and they take up 7 to 14 slots okay you know what let's get let's get two of those sure what else can we get I think putting some eels in here is totally acceptable maybe I'll get some yellow tangs one yellow tang, that seems okay. Yeah, the fish are gonna die unless I get some, uh... I get some bits and bobs plumbed in over there, so we'll do that right now. Uh, I'm gonna get a basic pump over here. Link it up to there. Excellent. And then we also need to make sure that the... Uh, that there is, what, heating capability and rock capability as well. I mean, if my fish end up dying because of my, frankly negligent behavior, then I will be most displeased. Okay. That goes down there like so. That's fine. I know there's no access to the filter at this moment in time, but that's fine. Uh, ah, this, this could be a bit of a problem. Let me move this around a little bit. Get it rotated. I need three sides. Alright, so this needs to go over there. Is that even accessible? Stick it over there, sure. Alright, the lighting on that angle is, is real poor. Okay, so we need to get a... What, uh, what temperature do I need? I need 88. 88? That's quite a lot to ask for. Should we get a power combi? That might be our best way of solving this... solving this problem. Not enough money. How much does a how much does a power combi ask for? 167 bucks. All right. A lot of people getting really really hacked off at our terrible exhibit, which is a bit of an irritation. Uh, we're also in with a chance of actually just straight up destroying our fish, which I would rather not do. Okay, that goes in there like so. Excellent. So, water temperature for the yellow tanks is still too low. Is there any reason that they need to stay in this tank specifically? I don't think they do. Because we could certainly think about moving them. Okay, an employee is leveled up. I really don't care about that. I need... I need one bit of sea lettuce in here. Literally, that's it. And then I need eight bits of rock. 
how much money do I need in order to buy this tiny little bit of rock? 250 bucks. Okay, I mean, I can, I can just about do that. There we go. Smash that down there. Oh, I just didn't have enough money. Okay, fine. Uh, hermit crabs, sure, whatever. Just, just get the... Just get the stuff that is required. I'm totally fine with that. Okay, and then give me a rocky overhang. Cool. Okay, so that is everything satisfied with the exception of a slight increase in temperature. This yellow tang. I shouldn't maybe have put this uh, put this yellow tang in here. It's it's kind of decreasing in HP, which makes me worry. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna sell it. Gonna sell the yellow tang gonna get my money back. I got 77 back for it, which is exactly what I paid for it, so that's kind of good. A fox, a fox face rabbit fish dislikes food competition. What do the panther group fish? Okay, we can actually stick one of these fish in here. Okay, that's cool. A fox face rabbit fish, I think, is probably what we're after, right? I don't know what the temperature currently is set to, but... Oh, wait. Hold up. That's, uh... That's a problem. Also, the water quality in there is too low. Oh, boy. Okay. First of all, stick down a basic filter in there. Great. I need to find some other way of powering the temperature up. Do we just seriously get another combi thingamabobber? That only takes us up to 88 degrees Celsius. Oh, my goodness. Right. Literally expand this setup in order to get down another basic heater, which is going to cost me even more money, but will increase the temperature by 18 degrees Celsius, which is kind of major. Protein skimmer, that's great. Very happy with that. Let me choose later. I, I, I'm kind of in the zone to get this to get this sorted out. Right, so give me a basic heater there, and actually I think I can sell this and then replace it with a power heater. And we should still be totally fine in terms of temperature for uh, for the panther, the panther fish. Cool. All right, large filter, large heater, or a deep wall tank. Well, a large filter certainly seems like a requirement at this moment in time, so that's kind of nice. Zebra eel has grown, and all of my staff are leveling up, which is very very lovely indeed. I'm kind of after kind of after a little bit of a little bit of cash to be honest. That would be real nice. Okay. Move this. Oops. No. Click on this uh, to move. Yes, please. And then rotate around. Stick it down like so, I guess. Sure, do that. And then just move the muscle box. Ah. Oh. Irritating. Irritating in the extreme. But that's fine. That sorts us out in terms of muscles, at least for the foreseeable future. Okay. Uh, can I throw in that fish that I was thinking about throwing in? The fox face rabbit fish? Also, what was the brand new fish that we just unlocked? I can't even recall. I think it was the fox face rabbit fish, actually. All right, throw that in there. Throw what? Two in there? Throw three in there, sure. And the quality of the water has actually degraded. However, I have a brand new bit of tech for this. Helps achieve higher water quality. Yeah, so if I do this and throw this into here, does that work? Invalid placement location. Right. Well, that kind of sucks. Does that improve the water quality somewhat? It looks like it does. So, can I... Can I stick it over here? Mm, I can't really, unfortunately. So it would have to go. It would have to go next to the tank if I wanted to do that. But I don't really want to have that over there. Uh, we're working on a large water filter now, and getting a large water filter would allow us to, I guess, beef up this machine right here, which would be pretty darn good because I don't think that there's anything else that we can do at this moment in time. Alternatively, I just get two power combis, perhaps. Yeah, maybe I just straight up sell all of this equipment that we just got around around there and instead just get down another power combi. Link that up to there like so. And just get another power combi, to be honest. Sell that and just literally get a third power combi. 
That should increase the water filter level. Surely, right? Uh, weirdly, it does not. That's a very, very strange occurrence. It might be because the pump is just not powerful enough. That might be the case. But I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, you know what? Just, just replace this. Just ignore me. Ignore what I'm doing. Throw down a power filter. Are we fine temperature-wise? No. So now we've got to either choose. Do we want to do temperature or do we want to do water filtration to the max? Unless I can chain together basic pumps. But I don't think I can. I don't think I can chain them together. Which is a bit of a bummer. So... I guess that kind of sucks. We're going to need to have one bit of apparatus just chilling at the side of the tank over there, which I'm not super happy about, but... I mean... I guess it is what it is. Unless... No, that makes zero... That makes almost zero difference to the filtration level. What the heck? Okay, give me a power filter. All right, well, you know what? That's that's the situation that we're currently in. I don't love it, but it is what it is. Let's continue to expand out here a little bit as we go, and that will keep things nice and fresh and accessible. What is this? A blue knuckle hermit crab. Scavenger does not contribute to the bio load of the tank, automatically fed when, other, when any other animal in the tank is fed. Cool. Crustacean. Avoid placing with tank mates which are larger, which are uh, a danger to crustaceans. Okay, so that pretty much immediately rules it out of being stuck into this tank right here, I think. Because these fish in this tank are a danger to crustaceans, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I am telling a complete lie. Yeah, so they eat crustaceans between the size of 1 and 5. And what is the, what is the size of this? It's a size of 2. So... The chances of me, chances of me putting a crustacean in the big main tank is now not going to happen. However, what is going to happen, probably pretty shortly, is we are uh, we're definitely looking at a at a nice little level up, which is kind of cool. Also, we need to hire more staff. This is kind of a problem. Yeah, I mean, there's there's fishes that are being unfed or going unfed, I should say. There's bits and bobs that are not being swept up with any degree of consistency. Yeah, this is a this is a disgrace. Okay. Feeding, fixing, congratulations. Feeding, fixing, cleaning, congratulations. Fixing, feeding, uh, talking. Presumably that's selling stuff. I'm sorry. I need people that can fix. Feeding and gift shop. Congratulations. Fixing, excellent. Okay, look, that is a lot of staff, and it's probably too many, actually. Ooh. Anglerfish is being... Is not being satisfied. What's the issue here? Dislikes con specifics. Cannot be housed with anglefish. Okay, can I put... Can I put an anglefish in this big tank here? I don't think I can. I don't really think that I've got much space at all for anything else. And what size, what size of fish do eels eat? Crustaceans between one to three. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can move this flame anglefish over. Mm. We're pretty, we're pretty full actually. We are pretty full on the whole front. That, that tank's full too. Uh, that's a big old, that's a big old bummer actually. That's a big old bummer. What about? What about within this tank, if I move a yellow tang to here? If I move a yellow tang to there, and then I move this flame anglefish to there, will that make an impact, or will that just cause, like, a massive, a massive issue? Uh, it does cause a significant issue in terms of the fact that our water quality isn't being adhered to as it should be. Okay, let's actually try and improve the water quality. All right, I'm hoping with this little uh, this little burst of staff hires, we should be able to just get across the line in terms of uh, in terms of rank. Large filter, that's really really nice. Let's go for a large heater, shall we? 
Cool. And then also, I should be able to sell that and instead get a large filter down. Get that linked up like so. Excellent. That is moved to there. Cool. And what does that take us to? That takes us to 81 out of 71, which I think means I can sell this and still maintain pretty decent pretty decent levels of uh, of water filtration in that tank, which is very, very good stuff. All right, pretty chuffed with that. Longhorn cowfish. Can we... Can we stick this in? Starfish? It'll eat starfish. Uh, okay, fine. Let's get some disco mushrooms. Let's see if I can just throw these brand new fish into, into the tank. Longhorn cowfish... Sure, throw them in there. I think that's okay. I need cockles. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what a cockle actually is. But I can throw it down nonetheless. Where is it? Tools. Cockle dispenser. And where the heck do I want to stick it? Maybe here, but I suspect that this will immediately disable accessibility to everything. Hey, look at that. We prestige ranked up. Lovely. So what do we get? A basic chiller. Nice. So we chill the water temperature. A whole bunch of, uh, of additional decorations, which is kind of nice. And a whole bunch of fish. A power pump. Ooh, very, very nice. A padded bench. Protein skimmer. A Belfast tank. A jetty tank. An ecology poster. Man, I am looking forward to designing like a proper exhibit here. It's going to be legit. It's going to be fantastic. Right, there's no supply of green pellets. Uh, why is there no supply of green pellets? There, like, categorically should be a supply of green pellets. There's, We're not limited here, are we, to, like, the amount of pellets that are in in there? No, we got, we got more than enough green pellets. Yeah, we've got more than enough green pellets for everyone. Which is kind of okay. Uh, we are looking at a pretty bad situation where one of our fish is potentially in contention to die. Which is a bummer. Also, I suspect that, yep, a couple of different fish have grown. Which is a bummer. Eaten by coral grouper. Water tank 10. That's my bad. That's my bad. I I didn't realize that that was going to happen. Do we really have to do an autopsy on a fish? That seems rather ridiculous, but I guess it is what it is. Okay, get this repaired, please, so that we can get back to normal water levels. I need to start thinking about, like, a proper exhibit. Like, I should get a cold water exhibit, you know what I mean? Or a crustacean exhibit. That would be kind of cool. A large heater, that's really, really good. Uh, ooh, lots and lots of stuff in rank 5. However, I think it's probably worth us just getting rank 4 done and dusted first. What have we got here? Soft coral. Okay. This animal eats zooplankton every two days. They do get us a decent amount of science. And a moderate amount of prestige. Okay, I will choose some more research now, actually. A Midas Chichlid? Sure. Let's, uh, let's get that down there. Lots and lots of feeding is still happening, but it still looks, to me anyway, like not enough feeding is happening. Have we got enough... Have we got enough orange pellets? I don't think we actually have enough orange pellets. So that's a bit of a problem there. That's a bit of an issue. Uh, let me real quickly just expand this out here, and I'm gonna stick down a couple of additional orange pellet dispensers there to help make things just a little bit smoother. All right, I'm looking for a pretty major expansion at some point soon. Uh, again, the water filtration levels are still just woefully inadequate. Just disastrously woefully inadequate. Okay, sticking a large filter right here. Again, I think it's our only... Our only solution. What the heck is happening? This is just... This is just garbage. This is just really, really, really not good. I am displeased with this situation. It just seems like whatever we... 
whatever we stick down, it just doesn't make it just doesn't make any difference. It's because another another machine is broken down, and when a machine breaks down, everything just grinds to a miserable halt. We definitely need to hire some more people that are good at fixing. Also, maybe we should try and consolidate our fish into a simple tank. A porcupine puffer. Um, sure, it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of cool. It's a deal. That's great. Stick him in there. Will that make any difference? I don't think that they're edible. Porcupine puffers are size of three. And these guys are... What am I looking for? I'm looking for the panther grouper. Animals with a size of one to five. Right. I've endangered the lives of these fish. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Let's throw down another basic tank. Just in the short term to house these uh, porcupine puffers because... That's, that's kind of on me. I shouldn't have done that. Alright. We've unlocked the Midas Chichilid. That's great. Convict Chichilid. Cool. Okay, so that gets fixed. That brings the temperature and the water filtration back online to appropriate levels. Deep water, deep wall tank. That's all up and running. That's great. Let's move to the next level. Let's see if we can try and get something cool. A jetty tank? Just give me a give me a power pump in the first instance. And also stop playing in double time speed because things are getting a little bit out of control. This lagoon tank is is proving to be immensely problematic. Like I, I just cannot seem to get the the throughput that I need. So what I think I have to do. What I think I have to do is move the toilet. I need to expand the boundary of my aquarium. And then I need to move this over here. Move that over there. Move this down here. Invalid placement location? Sure, that's fine. Uh, and then... We basically just hook up... The pumps directly. Oh, no. I do not want to sell all the components, though. That's the only thing. There we go. Rotate that. Uh, rotate that. How's that looking? Sell that and sell that. Cool. Okay, so that leaves us with just a slight deficiency in pumping capability, but that's okay. One more. And we get a large water filter. And that still doesn't do it? Really? Okay, uh, let's sell that and then let's immediately try to do it with a protein skimmer instead. This can get moved out there. This can get moved around here. And we'll see if that makes a difference. I think that I think that works much better. Okay, 20 bucks over there. Let's throw down a staff door right in there. Apparently that's not allowed to be a wall. Guess that's okay. This tank is also completely empty and in a really bad position right now. However, we can sure as heck fix that up by moving it over here. What do we what do we require? We need a little bit of water filtration. Let's get a doesn't even need necessarily need to be a large water filter. Just a regular water filter, power filter or whatever. And the heat again doesn't need to be super large. And that's enough to keep that's enough to keep the inhabitants of that tank totally Totally in great condition. The porcupine puffer doesn't look very impressive, but there you go. That's it. That's okay with me. All right. We're slowly but surely recovering our, our finances, which is great. Pretty happy about that. I suspect that we may be in a position where our green pellets are in slightly short supply, but that's not too much of a problem. A vending machine, a chocolate vending machine. Sure, let's throw that down over there. 
Anything else that we need to get? No, not not as far as I'm aware. Right, what I want to start thinking about is setting up like specific exhibits, right? So we want to set up an exhibit that has got like a, a lovely little walk route to go through. I think that'd be I think that'd be really, really nice to, to get a a crustacean exhibit. You know? Or a, or an eel exhibit. Man, aquariums are so cool, aren't they? Like they really are the coolest. Also, the toilet should probably be not in the center of the floor here. So throw that down there and then throw a staff door in here. Cool. All right, that's looking real good. So now everything is covered up. Everything looks reasonably, yeah, reasonably good as far as I'm aware. Requires neutral water. Oh no, oh no. There are so many requirements. Okay, let's get the guppy down. Let's do that. And then I think that, you know, we should start thinking about our first our first proper exhibit. I'm going to get one of those exhibits that has got like entirely wall tanks. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I think we should try and that's what I think we should try and set up. So, I'm going to set up like a little a little pathway down here. I don't even know if this is going to work by the way, but it's worth a shot, right? And then we're going to get like a full a full room over here. There we go. And keep going, eh? There we go. So a massive brand new area over here. Josh has leveled up. Excellent. Are we still managing, by the way, to feed everything? I, I don't actually think that we are. I think that we need a couple more employees. There we go. Right, loads and loads of employees. Almost as many employees as we've got guests. It's pretty embarrassing, but that's totally fine. Okay, so let's think about wall tanks. I want to get big, deep wall tanks. So that's what I'm currently after. Let's just get a whole bunch of them. I want them to be as big as we can possibly make them. Yeah, so literally that size. Literally that size and as deep as they can be. 1,100. Holy cow. Needs a platform to access. Uh, that's totally fine. We can probably get a platform up here. Uh, but obviously, it's not going to be accessible to the general public. It's only going to be accessible to the staff that work behind the scenes. So let's make a little staff access route out here, which we don't have enough money for, but we will in just a second. There we go. There we go. Okay. Takes us down to a pretty dodgy financial position, but that's fine. Okay, so do we get a platform? There? There and there. Yes, yeah, so we get a platform like this, and then we get some stairs that just go up to it. Should be pretty easy, but we're a little bit cash negative at this moment in time. But that's not a problem. It's probably because we hired so many employees, but that's fine. Okay. A couple of cowfish have ended up growing, which is lovely. Looks like we're totally fine in terms of feeding fish, which is very, very good news indeed. Holy cow, there are so many fish. There are so many fish that we need to get. There are so many fish, and it's kind of crazy. Okay, can I get a normal type door? Is that possible? I don't think I can get a normal door. Also, holy cow, bloodworm, brine shrimp, vegetable dispenser, zooplankton. What the heck? All these different types of food. That's uh that's that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. Okay. What does it cost me to get stairs? Not much. Okay. Why would you climb up the Where'd you climb up there? Wait, does that count as a platform? Hold on, sell this. Maybe we only need that. Maybe we don't even need... Maybe we don't even need a double platform. Maybe we literally just need that platform. Okay, that's cool. So what should we get in this, uh, in this deep water exhibit? Well, I think we should start... I think we should start, like... I think we should start with the stuff that is not... That is not harmful. 
stuff that we know is going to be easy to keep. The Disco Mushrooms, the Blue Knuckle Hermit Crab, I think that is kind of exactly what we're looking for. So this is going to be the Crustacean Exhibit in here. Uh, it immediately disappeared. Did I actually end up placing it? I don't think I ended up placing it. That's that's fine. Right, Disco Mushrooms died because the water temperature is too low. Oh, did I end up placing that? And then because the day ended, it just immediately died? Well, that was very, very, very unfortunate for those Disco Mushrooms. Okay, how much money do I actually need to buy these things? 146. I'm really looking forward to getting a contract, which is going to allow me to make some money. Right, what do I want to get? I would like to get a... I guess a power light? A power light seems pretty lame. A backpack dispenser? Actually, a backpack dispenser, now that you mention it, video game, would be especially fantastic. It would be really, really good. Uh, also, I want to see if I can try and consolidate a whole bunch of my pumps down to just, you know, single pumping units. Because the sheer number of pumps that we have means that they're breaking down, like, every other day. Like, you know, at least one pump per tank is breaking down every day, which is, which is kind of, kind of insane. It's kind of insane. Right, let's pause and let's get some Disco Mushrooms down. Right, how many can we get down? I don't even, I don't even know. Do they even count? Do they even count towards capacity? I don't think they do. Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, we're gonna need to bump up the the temperature quite considerably. But that is totally, totally fine. Because we've got a large heater. Which, of course, we don't have enough money for. Because we don't have enough money for anything at this moment in time. We need 86 bucks in order to get a large heater. That doesn't even take us up to the 112 degrees Celsius that we actually need. I'm assuming that it's 112 degrees Celsius. It's probably not 112 degrees Celsius, because otherwise the water would be boiling. And I don't think that there are many creatures that live in boiling water conditions. No matter. Okay, I am going to get a large filter. I don't suspect that I'll need one quite yet, but I suspect that I will need one once we reintroduce a whole bunch of other fish. I say reintroduce. We haven't introduced them already. Uh, but we will. 167 bucks is what I'm after. It's 159. Come on, come on, come on. We cannot have another fatality. Just a little bit more money. There we go. Excellent. Okay. So now we've got some disco mushrooms set up over here. We just need a couple of uh, bits of light. Now, I've not actually introduced light at all yet. Where is it? It's not here. Also, I should start thinking about some vanity items. We should get a shipwreck. We should get a shipwreck exhibit. That would be cool, right? Right. No sign of the lights thus far. Are they in here? They are indeed in here. Right. What's required for a light? 61 bucks? Oh, it's eight. Sorry. 800, 854. That's quite a lot. Uh, we also need to get some zoo feed. Which is in here, right? Plankton Zoo Dispenser. There we go. Throw that down. I don't know if we're going to survive till the end of the day. So you know what I'm going to do real quick? I'm going to sell... I'm going to sell this Disco Mushroom and this Disco Mushroom because I need the lights before I'm going to be supremely confident in keeping those chaps alive. Okay, Porcupine Puffers have both grown. Excellent. Still a little bit cash negative, but that will be sorted over the course of today. Especially if we're able to get backpacks really, really soon. That would be... That would be pretty darn exceptional. Alright, so 800 and something bucks for the light. And then we will be good. This is inaccessible. Ah, and that is a problem. That's no issue though, because I can sort that out by doing that. There we go. And we've unlocked a coral beauty. Don't mind if I do. A schooling banner fish. The fish from finding... The fish from finding Nemo, of course. How could anyone ever forget? Okay. Wait, basic light? 61? Why is it... Oh, I need to provide basic light for the entirety of the tank, so it scales with the size of the tank. Wowzers. Okay, well that is... 
unexpected. Um, you know the other fish that I'm going to stick in? These guys, are they okay with light? I think they're okay with light. If they're not going to be okay with light, then we might have to we might have to rethink our strategy somewhat. In saying that, in saying that, what's stopping us from just changing this tank around and making it slightly smaller? I mean, we could do that, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, this is the first big tank in my brand new exhibit. I feel like I got to I got to just double down. I got to just double down. Let's get these lights. Sure, get the lights. That only provides five light, and it costs 850 bucks. But whatever. I don't care. I don't care at all. Okay, let's throw in some disco mushrooms, which can definitely exist in here now, which is wonderful. That's really, really good. A couple of level up on the staff. Really like that disco mushroom. Minus, minus one prestige. Tank looks a little bit bare. Tank 15 looks a little bit lifeless. Okay. So tank 14 and tank 15 have been criticized by this guy. Which one's tank 14? Is it this one here? It's totally this one here. Okay. You know what? Let me... Let me get some... Let me get some decorations in some of these tanks. Because... It's causing my prestige a real... A real hit. And I don't like that. A backpack dispenser. Oh, brilliant. Will that automatically apply? I think that that'll automatically apply. Okay. Let's get some... Let's get a barrel. Sure. Get a barrel in there. Filtration is an issue. Ah, uh, yes. The reason that filtration is an issue... Is... Because... Uh, the fish recently leveled up. Okay, that moves across there, and we get one large filter in there, which deals with absolutely everything. Cool. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So now we just need to fill out this tank right here. Let's get a rocky overhang or something when we have the money. Man, I really do not like not having the money. It's pretty irritating. You know what? I think, I think the schooling bannerfish might be the perfect... It might be the perfect fish for this tank right here. Sure. Let's investigate that possibility. Let's investigate that possibility. Because I think it might be the case. Okay. Any negative, any negative thoughts, I will immediately monitor them. Also, I want to introduce some more fish. The schooling bannerfish. I need to get six schooling bannerfish into this tank, which shouldn't be too difficult because it is that big. However, let me get some knuckleback hermit crabs first. Although I don't even know if they necessarily count as fish. Oh, they do. They just count as very, very small fish. Okay, let's get like, I don't know, a couple of them. There we go. That seems reasonable. And then we can get some schooling bannerfish in a bit uh, later on. This needs to be expanded here so that we can access the... So we can access the uh, the equipment. Excellent. Man, people are loving these crustaceans. It's real good. That's real good. I'm pretty happy with it. I love me some crustaceans too. You know what they say. Yeah, look at all this prestige. Look at all this prestige from this brand new exhibit. People are loving it. People are absolutely loving it. We've also got a little bit of space still in tank number 13, but... Tank number 13 is a little bit dangerous. Those panther groupers really are, uh, really are a menace. They really are a menace. Okay, lots and lots of leveling up, which is great. That's what we like to see. A fuzzy dwarf lionfish. That's fine. Uh, Atlantic Pollock. Yeah, as I say, I'm just going to go sequentially through the fish. Dislikes lights cannot be housed in a tank with lights attached. That's okay. The reef, the reef fish, can we maybe stick this in here? The panther grouper fish, what do they eat? Animals with a size of one to five? Okay, so that is straight up a, a no-go because... Because that is just not going to work. 
I tell you what, a reef squirrel fish and an oblique lined dotty back could probably be housed together. In addition to the no, the the royal grammars aren't gonna be able to be housed with that. Man, this is a blooming challenging situation for us. Okay, you know what? Let's sort out this tank. Let's sort out this exhibit in the first instance. Let's just get this nailed down. Let's get a couple of one, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Four. And then five, and then six. What were your what was your issue? That schooling banner fish looks stressed. Oh come on. We just need a couple more. Two and the last one. A paralyte. Excellent. Give me a large protein skimmer. And the sixth fish. Cool. Okay, so what do we need to get now? We need to get a couple of bits of couple of bits of stuff. A couple of bits of seagrass. Uh, filter power. Okay, this actually helps the filter power. That's cool. We're a little bit low on the old the old cash, but that's fine. Uh, also, seemingly, we need to get ourselves another another pump or something. Man, I just need I just need more and more powerful pumps. Is that not just crazy? Also, when am I gonna when am I gonna get the offer for uh, for money in order to build an exhibit? Because I would really really like that. Right, give me a large filter in right there. Is it still accessible to get up here to the? Yeah, it's still accessible to get up there. Cool. All right, so let's focus on getting the uh, on getting the plant life down here. So this is all going to improve the filtration quality, which is really, really nice. I should also get some kelp, because I feel like kelp is, is pretty cool. And it gives us some prestige as well. All right. Choose now. Let's get some research on the go. And let's get some kelp down here as soon as we have the cash for it. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Look at this tank. It's really coming along very, very nicely indeed. And in fact, prestige-wise, we're doing pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Okay, what else can we throw in here? Can we get an oblique-lined dotty back? I think that's okay, right? It's a bully and it'll pester wimps. Well, I don't think that the schooling bannerfish is is a wimp. No, I don't think I don't think it is at all. Okay, let's get a couple of oblique lined dotty back fish. Oh, I tell you what, I can't get a couple of uh, oblique lined dotty back fish because we're only allowed to have one in this tank, believe it or not. It's crazy, isn't it? But there you go, because they're fighters or whatever. Uh, the reef, the reef squirrel fish cannot be stuck in a tank with lights, which is a bummer. Any other fish that I can just get like one single ones of. Wimp cannot be housed with the bully. I think the oblique dotty fish is a bully. Yep, so that's a no-go. And may eat stony corals, but that's fine. Uh, cannot be housed with non-lion fish and scorpion fish. Um, okay, so I take it's a... Stressed out from being housed with species, yeah. So that's, that's a no-go as well. Uh, a longbow... A longbow cowfish, we've already got a couple of those. Atlantic Pollock, animals with a size of one to three. Well, I mean, you've got a size of five. You've got a size of three. So the Atlantic Pollock is a no-go in this tank too. So I think that's I think that's it in terms of what we can stick in here. Unless we want to stick some more basic stuff in here. But there's no real reason not to. Actually, what about the Royal Grammar? Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, actually, no, because... The oblique lined dotty back can't deal with that. So you know what? I'll just sell the oblique lined dotty back because uh, because there's no reason there's no reason to keep it around, not for a while anyway. Okay, so that tank is looking really really good. I'm very very happy with that. Uh, we're in a good place in terms of ecology, which is nice. I think what I want to try and do now, what I want to try and do now, uh, let's get a deep. What is it? A deep observer tank? What's the difference? It's not really a difference, to be honest. Let me get another deep wall tank. I'm going to get another deep wall tank, but it's going to be much slimmer this time. 
and it's gonna it's gonna not have altogether too much stuff in it. A cuckoo ras. It'll eat crustaceans between a size of one to four, uh, which is a bit of a bummer because I believe that we've got crustaceans with a size of one to four in here. Yeah, that's a crustacean with a size of two. Okay, large protein skimmer. That's really really nice. Also, can I get um, can I get like a backpack station? I know we unlocked backpacks like a little while ago. Is that a thing that we can get? Oh, it totally is a backpack dispenser. So let's nail that down. Let's get as many of these backpack dispensers as we possibly can. Not enough money. I don't even know how much money we need to to get it. Three hundred, I think. Three hundred bucks. That's fine. Just wait until we've got that, and then you know what? Sell that pellet dispenser there. It's not super required. Do these backpack dispensers only contain one backpack? Oh, that's intensely lame. Very, very lame. Very, very lame indeed, but I guess that's the reality of the world that we live in. Okay. We need to get a platform up here. Is that a possibility? Yes, it is a possibility. However, going to be a little bit of an inconvenience to put in place. Fine. There we go. Okay. So what fish do we want to stick in here? Also, have we got an offer for... Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, in some epaulette shark? Sure. They eat small crustaceans. Tinfoil barb fully grown. Uh, well, we don't have that, unfortunately. And a porcupine puffer group observation. Build a tank with a porcupine puffer. Do I have a porcupine puffer? I may indeed have a porcupine puffer already. Hmm. Porcupine, pork, porcupine puffer. No. Although I did have a puffer fish, didn't I? I had the, yeah, I had the longhorn cowfish. All right. So I guess that's a, I guess that's a no on that front. Yeah. Okay, well that's a that's a bummer. What what do we require for a porcupine puffer? It's not even here. It must be in like level 6. If that's the case, then we need to get our butts in gear in order to try and unlock the porcupine puffer. A tinfoil barb is what we require fully grown in order to trade for a shark. So, why don't I try and get that sorted as well? Just as kind of like a little bit of a bonus objective. Uh royal grammar not grammar, grandma. We've got that. Tank with lights. That's fine. Can I put a reef squirrel fish in with the oblique lined dotty back? I think I can. Water temperature is too low. Okay, so everyone's complaining about low water temperature, but that's actually totally, totally acceptable. Alright, so we've just started the day, so we've got plenty of time to make this happen. Gonna need to get one of these in here. That's fine. That keeps the water temperature, uh, sorry, the water filtration rate at an acceptable level. Let's throw down a large heater as well. In fact, it might not even be a large heater that is required. Start with a power heater. Nope, we're gonna require a large, a large heater. Man, I am really, really happy with how this exhibit is looking. That's looking real, real good. Okay, we need some rocky overhangs now, which shouldn't be too difficult to get, and that'll sort uh, that'll sort this area right out. Okay, cool. That is a that is a big lapse in fishes that we have just sorted right out. So that's really really good. So now we've got everything here. Yeah, we've got everything here, everything here, everything here, everything here. A coral, a coral beauty. Wimp. And I think, yeah, because the oblique lined dotty back is indeed a bully. Stony corals. Is there any reason why this can't be housed here? Oh, yeah, they can't be housed with another unit of itself, but that's fine. 
Are these guys wimps? No. But it just means that we require a little bit more... A little bit more plant life in the tank. Sure. I mean, that's totally acceptable, right? We can easily throw in a couple of additional bits of, uh, of plant life. That's cool. An ecology poster as well. Yes. Let's get an ecology poster. All right. So that is... That is quite literally every fish that we've got up to... Up to here? Cannot be housed with non-lion fish and scorpion fish. Yeah, so this needs a tank. This needs a tank entirely to itself. Which is fine. Atlantic Pollock. A humpback snapper. These are going to be these are going to be difficult to house. Crustaceans with a size of one to two. Yeah, we can't can't do that. That's fine. Man, I would really love I would really love to get the porcupine puffer group established. That would be that would be really really great for my cash flow. That would be oh so nice. But that's okay. All right, everyone happy? Everyone happy with all these tanks? I think everyone's pretty happy, right? We don't have any issues. A tinfoil barb, I mean, how challenging. Ooh, freshwater capable. Nice, 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 nice. Active swimmer requires neutral water. Plant destroyer. All right, that's okay. A tinfoil barb, I mean, do I really want to try and get a shark? I would really like to get a shark. That would be great. A shark would be really cool. But, I mean, everyone seems to be pretty darn happy. If we could get to the next level, that would also be great. Uh, the puffer fish. Guest thoughts. Everyone's happy. That fox-faced rabbit fish looks a bit stressed. Where's our fox-faced rabbit fish? Oh, lordy. I don't even remember where our fox-faced rabbit fish is. Ah, okay. They're in this tank here. What's the issue here? Is it because they don't have the plant life required? Ecology points earned. Ah, it's because it's present with another green pellet eater. And that is the that is the fox-faced rabbit fish. So they all eat green pellets, and therefore they're all a little bit unhappy. You know what? I'm actually content to just leave that in that position there. I mean, it's not a massive prestige hit. So thankfully, we can we can leave it there for a while. Yeah, I, I don't really feel the need to, to rectify that immediately. Uh, I think I want to get another bespoke tank, by the way, just whilst I'm on nature of bespoke tanks. Let's get another bespoke tank behind here. There we go. Let's get another bespoke tank, like so. Very, very similar to how everything else works. Except in here, we're just going to have... We're just going to have fuzzy dwarf lionfish. We'll get two of them, sure. We'll get two of them, that's totally fine. Except, hold up, I'm not going to do that today, because if I do that today, then they're going to die, and I don't really want them to die. So instead today, let's just get the large heater. We'll get the... Uh, no, 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 no. Who do you think you are? You're not allowed to go... You're not allowed to go behind there. That's top secret. Top secret operations are going going on behind, uh... Behind this wall. All right. Nice. So, let's get the... Let's get the lionfish. Okay, I want to get, like, what... Three, two, and then a third one as well. There we go. So that's three. And honestly, we could we could maybe do we could maybe do more than that, if indeed that's uh, that's something that we're interested in. A common starfish. I reckon. I reckon we can put the common starfish in with. In with these guys over here. This is quite a quite a chilled out tank. So let me see if I can stick the starfish in over here. What's the issue with starfish? 
What's the issue with the starfish? Oh, hold up. The starfish love chilly environments. Uh, okay, well, that's a, that's a bit of a bummer. I'm afraid that's not going to be happening for a little while yet, given that we've got a very, very hot environment. But we could get a little, you know, uh, a little uh, a little tank to maybe house the starfish. That would be kind of cool. That would definitely be kind of cool. What am I looking for? I'm looking for some rocks. Let's get some rocks. Let's get a rocky overhang. Look at that. All right, excellent. Uh, still not enough water quality. Which is somewhat of a problem, I would suggest, given that this tank really isn't kitted out for... for further... Uh, for further extent... Uh, for further bits and bobs to be cobbled together. Let's throw down a protein skimmer right there, once we've got the cash for it. All right, give me all your science, please. Ah, an ecology poster. Man, we're going to get an ecology poster everywhere we go. It's going to be excellent. All right. I'm still very confused at how I'm not able to consistently make a decent amount of money. Very irritated, in fact. 156 bucks in order to get another protein skimmer down here. I say another protein skimmer. Our first protein skimmer. All right, lots and lots of points there. Very, very nice indeed. Let's get this area expanded out here. I've got a plan for this area, by the way. My plan for this area is to get a... I mean, is an observer tank... Is an observer tank kind of what we're after? Yeah, but I also kind of just feel like a basic tank would do just fine. It certainly doesn't need to be that large. Do I even need to have it right here? A What? A red striped earth eater? Cool. You know what? I, uh, I think I'm going to stick the starfish tank just in a basic tank over here. All right. We'll throw the starfish in... Oh, they grow up to a huge size, don't they? Oh, that's a problem. Uh, I did not anticipate that they will grow that large. Uh, ooh, goodness gracious me. The starfish, yeah, they grow... They grow up to 14. So we need a capacity of 28 if we want to get two. Which is kind of bonkers, in fact. So maybe we just straight up get a lagoon tank? What's the capacity in here? That's 32. I tell you what, that is just about large enough for two starfish. How crazy is that? Uh, but this is going to be our first chilled exhibit, which is kind of nice, right? One, two. Yep. And the tank is not sufficiently chilled, but that's fine because we can just throw down a basic chiller next to a water pump. There we go. Set that up. And we'll get a basic chiller right over there. And that is sufficiently chilled for everyone, which is great. Let's throw down some... I don't know. We'll throw down a shell. We haven't got a shell yet. In fact, we haven't got half of the... We haven't got half of the uh, the decorative features. The decorative features, by the way, can be really, really good for our prestige levels. So let's create like a pseudo exhibit in here, shall we? Okay, not a palm tree because... A palm tree suggests heat, and uh, frankly, the this exhibit is far from hot. All right, I'm anticipating hitting the next rank either today or tomorrow, so that would be really, really great. The Belfast tank, lovely. The Jetty tank, lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Excellent indeed. And if we don't hit it today, it's going to be pretty darn close. That's fine. All right, every single fish in every single location is pretty darn happy, with the exception of a couple of fish over here. Okay, that's being fixed. Cool. Okay, I think we're going to need, like, one final fish in order to just... In order to just push us over the top here. Bozeman's Rainbow. Holy cow, we're getting some really exceptional fish that I'm just struggling to keep up with, to be honest. Right. This is what we're going to get now. We're going to get a nice long tank, which isn't super deep, but uh, 
but does in fact do a lot of good. Okay. Get that expanded out there. Yep, lovely stuff. And what did I say we're looking for? Oh, also a Belfast tank. Like, I'm assuming that we can make a pretty darn big... A pretty darn big Belfast tank, maybe in the center of this exhibit here. We can get a big tank in the center over here. And then just, like, tanks all the way around, like, wall tanks all the way around. That would look pretty nifty, wouldn't it? And it's pretty obvious, but I am going for the deep water wall tanks. Because, let's be real, they are far and away the best, in my opinion. Okay, expand that out there. Oh, we're so close to hitting that prestige milestone. There we go. Let me get this moved across here, except I want to demolish that wall and move this across here. A jetty tank, excellent. We'll need to get that in just a second. And a blind cave tetra. Right, cool. I know I've unlocked everything in my rank. I'm trying very hard to increase my rank, but I keep on having reoccurring cash flow problems. Probably because I keep employing people, but that's okay. Well, not necessarily employing people. Employing people is the wrong term. Paying people, I think, is a more accurate explanation of what's going on. Anyway, I have no idea what we're going to stick in this tank, by the way. I'm thinking maybe a Pollock, an Atlantic Pollock. That would be kind of cool, right? Schooling fine fish. Animals between a size 1 to 3 and a humpback snapper. I mean, sure, we stick a couple of them in there, two in there, and then not enough money to get a humpback snapper, but that's fine. That's okay. Okay, what do we need? We need a filter, which I may not have enough money for. And what else? Oh, it needs to be chilled. Now, what is the situation of that other fish that I was going to throw in there? The humpback snapper is a tropical fish, but the cuckoo wrasse is actually is actually also a fish that thrives in chilly conditions. All right, that's that's actually a good combination. That is a really really good combination. Uh, we can only throw in like two a piece though, because these guys are big. Right, come on. Let's throw down a couple more basic chillers. I'm going to need, like, three basic chillers in order to make this area properly work, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, a sand eel as well is apparently the feeding material that is required in order to make this work. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Right, give me some sand eel dispensing boxes. How much do I need? 180 bucks. go. Unlock that there too. Let me get a staff door in here as well. And let's move you out there because we don't want you to be chilling around behind the scenes. You two get out here. Staff door down there. Cool. Okay, so this is like the extent of our exhibit. I'm, I'm actually reasonably happy with this. Looks pretty darn good. Craig is leveled up. Yazin is leveled up. Excellent. Okay, so the Atlantic Pollock, what is the issue here? You need food and you're going to grow, but you're going to grow after you've been fed. Fine. Okay, so that's going to go to 16. So that's 32 points that are occupied in this tank out of 84. Okay, one, and we're going to get another Cuckoo Rass in just a second. The tank's a little bit barren, I suspect. People may have an issue with that. Okay, I think that might just be all that we can manage to fit into that tank, because the amount of stuff that is going to expand is, is kind of crazy. What else do I want to throw in here? Nothing, really. 
Oh, I tell you what I can do. I can totally change the the paint scheme retroactively, can't I? It's in decorations. Where am I? Yeah, so you know what? Let's get Let's get this all shipwrecked painted. I mean I wasn't super bothered about it before. But we might as well do it right now, right? Sure. So this is the the shipwreck exhibit. Nice. Alright, you know what? That's, that's looking pretty darn good. So I'll get some barrels and stuff down here. Just to give the place a little bit more of a, a full vibe, I guess. And also because it gives us points, right? So nets. Not enough cash. It's fine. Palm tree. Palm trees don't go inside. They go outside, potato. That's okay, though. Okay, can I please hit the next level of prestige? I really do feel like it's coming very, very soon, and yet I still haven't been able to hit it quite yet. Okay, you know what? Let's mark the entrance with a palm tree there. Cool. An extra point of prestige for everyone. All right, excellent. Everyone seems to be enjoying the exhibits, which is very, very nice. We're accumulating a whole bunch of science points, but we're not able to put them to use at this moment in time, which is a significant irritation of mine. But again, not much that we can really do about that. It is what it is. Only having one green pellet dispenser, is that becoming a problem? Let's stick down another green pellet dispenser just in case. Staff don't seem to be utilizing the backpacks as much as I thought they would be. But that's not my problem, I guess. What do I need in order to get the level up? 820? 820 prestige? I mean, we are so very close. Okay, you know what? Let's see if we can spend all of our cash on a... On a Belfast tank, I guess. I mean, a big one. A big one at that. <gasps> it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Let's rank the heck up. Let's go to six. That's right. Okay. I mean, a gargantuan, a gargantuan number of brand new fish to, to research. A double filter, a guidebook shelf. Cool. Let's go. Let's just immediately start work on a large chiller. That sounds good. We don't need to worry about a new tank, at least not at this moment in time. Also, you know what I'm completely forgetting? to buy. Uh, also, there's a whole bunch of new pirate-themed stuff, which is very, very nice indeed. A whole bunch of new bits and bobs there. I'm looking for an ecology poster, uh, because an ecology poster is actually really super helpful. And I suspect it's going to help increase our prestige just that little bit more, right? I mean, it does cost, like, a ridiculously large amount of money for some obscene reason. Not sure why it costs 500 bucks for a, for an ecology poster. However, look at that. We've already gone from about 820 uh, prestige all the way up to about 850 at some points, which is really, really rather nice. So if we're able to maintain that, then that would be really great. Uh, I suspect that this email is going to be about our fishes leveling up. Indeed. A common starfish. Oh, why the heck did this end up dying? Oh, it's because it's a scavenger and it doesn't feed until something else in the tank gets fed. Ah, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, well, do we have any other chili fish? Animals with a size of one to three. Stick that in there. Yeah, sure. Stick that in there. That torpedoes the water filter quality, to be honest. Hmm. That takes it just out of range. This could be a problem. Uh, let me see if I can get a power filter. A power pump, even. Okay. Sell this. Sell this whole thing. And then let's see if we can throw in a power filter. Not a power filter, power pump. There we go, cool. 
and then we need to make sure that it's kept chilled nice and then we need to get water filter I, I don't love I don't love that situation I would describe it as less than ideal however we got to do what we got to do right Okay. Have we got sand deals? We got sand deals over there. That's cool. Starfish is at risk of death. I'm going to sell the starfish and then I'm immediately going to rebuy it. I'm going to rebuy two of them, actually. Okay. So these starfish, these starfish grow so large, though. That's the only thing. They grow 11 points. So it's 14 points of starfish. And we can only buy one. That's kind of that's kind of crazy, and now we're back down to six hundred and something prestige. I mean, that's that's absolutely no good, absolutely no good. Cuckoo wrasse have grown. That's cool. We need to do a better job of consolidating all of our machines up because we're in a bit of a pickle with regards to the number of machines that need to be fixed every single day, which is a big old bummer. But hey. That's looking good. Sponge pellets? What the heck? All of these different food sources. I mean, these these fish are really, really, really picky. Anyway, ladies and gents, we're going to deal with all of these picky fishies in the next episode. Striped box of fish, sure. Throw that into the research queue. Uh, my name, of course, has been Obita Potato. Thanks, as ever, to all of the fantastic Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash Obita Potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana and Sea Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, my fishy friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.